Well, it's a lovely evening, so I thought I'd come over and do a spot of watering. I've also got another little job that I, I've started. So, where well, I open the shed up and get my tools out, roll VT. Dave at the allotment. Dave, what are you after this afternoon? Still cracking on at the allotment. But get the kettle on. It's Dave at the allotment. See you in a bit. Well, I would usually start off the show by saying get the kettle on, but it's going to be a bit difficult because something's happened. What's happened to me shed? What on earth is going on here? I'll tell you what's going on. I've cleared all this, all this bit out, obviously, because I'll show you something else. But first of all, I start from the beginning. So I just uh, avert your eyes, avert your eyes, avert your eyes. Right. The other day, I don't know if... Shut up, bloody frog. Um, some people will already know this through my Facebook page and through Facebook gardening groups. But check out this skip find. It come from the local school. What it is, it's a sink, obviously, uh, from the science department. And I've got four of these. Ideal for putting there. Uh, some plants in and the lake but my plan is and that's why I've started ripping the shed out oh shut up I tell you what that does me head in that Pretty stupid thing right as I was saying I have some of these sinks from the science department at the school then I also noticed the bench so I've brought it over and I'm gonna place it into the shed because if you can see there that's the gas taps so I'll be able to hook me Bunsen burner up plus as well I've got the two bits that the bench goes on and that's where the sink goes and there's a cut out bit so I'm gonna have the hose connected to the to, to these taps something like that and then obviously the bench goes across there and I've got my gas taps so that's the plan folks I've got my shovel out there so I need to level this ground so that should keep us busy for a while catches in a bit Well, the dark nights are starting to cut in now. It's ten past eight and the sun's going down. I've done my watering. I've got my cellar cabbage there. Not bad. That's a greyhound. I've just trimmed it up there. Them leaves can go on the on the compost. So, that's a not, not a bad sized cabbage, folks. I just stay. Uh, Stick this on the new, on the new bench. Hey, hey, check this out. It's just about done. So there you go. There you go. Got me a little cupboard bit there. I'm going to need to figure somehow to get the gas bottle underneath. But there's the gas taps. Get the get the kettle on with a Bunsen burner. And there's a sink, 
in its nice little resting place with the tap. It's a pity the door's missing off that one, right? But never mind. All the water that I use from the tap can uh, drip just into a bucket down there, I suppose. And now I've got all this other little space here, and I need to get rid of that pile of soil. But that's it. That'll be it. I need to do something with this corner now. And then I'll be able to concentrate on this roof because it is sagging a bit. I need some metal metal supports. Just while I'm here, look at the size of these now. If you can see, not bad. So I'll just spin you around there, folks, and say goodbye for now. That was a quick one, just to show you my little science lab experiment table for the shed. Um, I have got a few other jobs that we'll be doing tomorrow, so I will be making another video because there's a special guest coming. Someone that you haven't seen before, even. So stay tuned for that, folks. Thanks for watching, and thanks for subscribing, and all that kind of thing. It's all great. Bye now.